All right, got that camera rolling. All right, uh, could Professor Kit please come into the room? Professor Kit. Hello, Professor yep. Kit. Am I in the wrong room? You are in the correct room, Professor Kit. This room with the couch, yes. Now, why why don't you just take a seat? Don't don't be alarmed. Just take a seat, Professor Kit. Don't worry. Uh huh. Is is it fine if I just call you Kit, Professor Kit? Yeah, yeah, you can call me Kit. All right, thank you, Kit. Now, why don't we why don't we just talk about yourself for a little bit? Tell me, what were you doing? before coming to T-Corp. Let's start with that. Uh, I was, I was, I was dying, um, uh, 24 times before I came to T-Corp. Oh, that, that must have been quite difficult to work with, so I assume you had some, uh, difficulties with money then, hmm? Facing so many no, deaths. Well, kids, you know, they don't need money, they just kind of, uh, do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. But you've, uh, you've taken up this job at T-Corp, I see, after, uh, after gambling away your life. Now, I don't know if it was taken up or sold as a slave by the other kids. Hmm, but yeah. so would you say that they, uh, maybe abandoned you? Sure. Oh my god, are we doing, like, a sad, sad, uh, 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 uh well, documentary story no, of no, my no. life. That, that's Ooh, that's okay. ah, so. You know, I was a I was a young boy, and the other twenty four kids never hugged me. Don't worry, Kit. There will be plenty of hugging and more waiting for you here at T Corp. Now, if we just continue with this uh, small interview, um. What would you say is, uh, the most appealing part about your personality? Uh, people say that I am cute. Mm, definitely. I, I usually, like, like oh, oh, hey, here's some smart, interesting tidbits, and they're like, oh, at least you are cute. Oh, uh, don't get me wrong, Kit, you are definitely cute, but I think you're, you're just underselling yourself a little bit here. Here, look at that luscious red coat you have there it's it's beautiful you are you are a work of art kid um i think most people call that orange brown t corp we don't have any problems with orange people yes absolutely loving the suit mr kid why thank you a pretty good looking fox in that suit no way well, thank you this way they call me a fox mm -hmm. well, isn't it uh isn't it a bit cramped in this suit, though? Maybe. Well, no, you don't really Maybe get cramped it's, in is suits. Is it just a bit hot oh. inside of T Corp? It is hot, but I live in a uh, like a freezer with some uh, with some like ice on the outside of it, and and so uh, you know, I'm kind of enjoying the warmth. I think a little. I, th I thought I was just getting hot in the room. I'm looking at the thermostat here. Aren't you, aren't you finding it just a bit hot in here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kid? It says on my script that I'm supposed to say yes. Indeed, say Mr. Yeah. Kid. Yeah, if you feel like just taking a few layers off, you know, that would, uh, that would be completely fine with me. I mean, you do have a, uh, a company <laughs> registered Speedo Ooh. on you, don't you? I do have a company register. Are we going swimming? I, uh... Where is the swimming pool? We may be going swimming, Mr. Kit, but, uh... Oh, you, you have a very nice coat on you. Would you mind just giving me a bit of a twirl? Oh, huh? the tail. Could I, just take a, could, I, could I just take a look at the tail for a bit more? Yes. <coughs> Loving the tail. How long did it take for you to grow out the fur there like that? Uh, I've been uh, I've been growing it all my life. Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't see a swimming pool here. Uh, okay. Uh, company speedo pose number one. What? What? 
<clears throat> uh, excuse the cough. You're not, you're not feeling too well, Mr. Kit. You're definitely strutting your stuff there. A little look to the side. Just staring up in the distance. Now, you may notice that there are some unsightly stains on that couch. Yeah. There are some light spots on it. That's weird. Yes. Well, yeah, let me clean it up for you. Thank you. Thank you. Just just keep wiping those spots, Mr. Kit. <laughs> I think I need a... Oh, hey. You got closer. Don't worry about me, Mr. Kit. You can just, you can just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, I will clean... You know, Mr. Kit, I have admired the work you've been doing around T-Corp. You know what you need, Mr. Kit? I don't know why you're... I need a little bit of uh, what I'm about to give you here. A vacation? <gasps> what? We're going ah! to the beach, man! There's a tentacle monster over there. Let's go close to it. No? Alright, that, that's that's respectable. Hey kid, we can just sit in these beach chairs and moon bathe for the rest of the night. Ooh, I love moon bathing. That's how the vampires do it, and that's why that they sparkle in the sun, is because they moon bathe. Ooh. Hey, Kit, do you need any sunscreen for moon bathing? Yeah, sure, why not? No, you don't, because you need moon screen for moon bathing. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sit by the fire. you have any campfire stories? Well, there was this one time that, uh, this big, giant, scary corporation bought a little tiny fox and made this fox do crazy things and none of it the fox was good at but then the corporation said that's okay fox and took him over to a beach to have fun that sounds, that's a that's a brilliant story i think t corp can learn from that that's the story that my mommy always told me was mommy kit number 24 <laughs> No, mommy was kit number one. <laughs> okay, so one day uh, there was there was this poor little fox, and he he lived in uh, he lived in a, a statue of himself. He, he also had some Asian properties, but we're not going to pay attention to that right now. Uh, one day he decided that selling off his life would be a great opportunity to get some cool life experience and then this big friendly corporation helped him out and gave him all these cool opportunities to test out his skills and and put his doctorate to use and it was fantastic and he made great scientific breakthroughs and he was rewarded with a trip to the beach oh i did not see that incoming that was a good one now that I think about it, Mr. Kit, uh, it is the middle of the night and we're out here in Speedos. It is actually a bit chilly. We should just huddle by the fire here until morning. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you for watching us. And be sure to stick around for more. Say goodbye, oh. Kit. Goodbye, goodbye Kit. people goodbye. watching. <laughs> it's cold. It's very cold. We're gonna be here all night.